it done with Today is Beautiful here on KPSM The Rock 816 this Friday morning. And I have some special guests in the studio with me this morning. Uh, I have His Likeness. Good and, morning. And Mr. Fudge. Yes, sir. Good morning. And um, another member that's not with them, um, who's going to be, we're going to be talking about an event that's coming up here in Brownwood. And uh, Street Minister Whitehead is going to be there as well. And so basically what's going on is next Saturday on the 28th of this month, um, they're going to be having a praise in the park. And that's going to be at the Cecil Holman Park at 505 Cordell Street here in Brownwood. And it's going to be from 2 to 6 p.m. So why don't you share with us what, um, how did this event happen or why, you know, what's the heart behind this event? Why are you doing it here in Brownwood? Well, um, the event was inspired by God. Um, I was led to Brownwood and um, I worked here for a while with a company and God put it on my heart to come back to Brownwood and put on a program for the masses because it's like, you know, we have a lot of children that's, that's out there that's kind of misled that really don't know the word of God. And with our ministry, we deal with a lot of youth. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to come to Brownwood and put on a nice concert, have different artists come down, free of charge, everything is free. Yeah. Just come have fun and, and, and be ministered to, ministered to yeah. so basically. And so you at the event, you're gonna be performing? Yes sir, yes sir. And then Mr. Fudge is gonna be performing as well? Yes sir. And then I assume Street Minister Whitehead is gonna be doing some street ministering. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he's got to finish it. That was a joke. Um, <laughs> so, what what can people expect coming out um, to this event? Um, what what should I expect? They should expect the action packed show for God. Um, most of our music is uh, channeled towards the youth and the young at heart. Every on each album, all. All age groups can feel it, all the way from an infant, you know, because I play my song Dirty South Praise and it's like the kids go crazy. Yeah. And even the older folk, like when I perform at churches, because you know sometimes the the older folk don't accept hip hop because right. hip hop has over the years gained a bad stigmatism, but when they hear right. the verses of the Bible in it and they hear the uh, how we handle God's gospel. They, you know, at Respond the end, like the, the older deacons, they'll give you dap and say, hey, young fella, that's good, that's good. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's we're going to minister to Brownwood. That's yes, good. Sir. And so, now you have, um, you, you guys, this isn't your first time you've done this. No, um, it is. You've done it all over Texas, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All over Texas. Yes, sir. So, um, how did you guys, how did you start doing this? Well, um... I started out as just a regular musician um, many, many years ago mm -hmm. and doing consecutive music. Um, but over the years, you know, as you mature and and you come to God, yeah. your whole life changed. Right. And, and so God gave me a gift of music. And so why not use a gift that God gave me to glorify his name? So I said, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my gift and I'm going to utilize it for the greatest of his kingdom, but at the same time, pull in all of those that are lost. Because at this point in time, like with you have your rock, hip hop, R&B, jazz, and all these different genres of music, but and, and kids, well, the masses are listening to it. Mm -hmm. And and what better way to get someone to really understand and feel the word of God if you have music that will bring them in. Because music is really the key to a lot of people's hearts and, and souls. And, and it's kind of crazy when I say that. But music has influenced so many. Yeah. So why not influence them with, with the word of God with a nice beat? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so. and you know, if you think about it, um, you know, we know that God inhabits the praises of his people. That's right. Yes. So who's inhabiting the other stuff? True. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I just uh, convicted somebody. Anyways, so um, we're glad to have you guys uh, coming you. here to Brownwood next Saturday. Yes, sir. And it's going to be from 2 to 6 p.m. at the Cecil Holman Park. Yes, sir. 505 Cradell Street here in Brownwood. 2 to 6 p.m. It's free. 
Yes, sir. Um, no charge for the event. These guys are just going to put it on and uh, reach out and minister to Brownwood. So yes. um, I want to say thank you. Um, thank you. For, thank for, you, Brownwood. For, for, for coming and being a part yeah. of what God's doing here. Yes, sir. And uh, reaching out to the youth. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate your radio station. This yeah. is a holy field station. It really is. And, and, and then to find out that one of the owners wrote uh, Psalms 91. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I'm loving this. <laughs> yes. I got my copy. All right. Well, we hope to see you guys uh, come on out to, from 2 to 6 p.m. That's on the 28th. Yes. Sir. The last day of this month. And uh, come check out his likeness, Mr. Fudge, and Street Minister Whitehead. And uh, they're going to be bringing the house down. Unleashing the horses, yes, unhooking the plow. We okay. say that yeah, in college. Yeah. Over, a over, at, over at Cecil Holman Park. So yes, bring sir. a friend, invite your friends, and um, we'll see you there. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Are you from Brownwood or where are you from? We're actually we're from Austin, Texas. Oh, from Austin, Texas. Austin, All right. Capital City. There you go. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about uh, you guys are going to put on. Hey, uh, it's a praise in the park. Praise in the park, yes, sir. And uh, you guys are going to be a part of that. Give me the details on that, if you don't mind. Oh, okay, well, um, it's an all-free event. Free. We have free. We're going to capitalize that free. I know y'all probably can't see the word free, but it's free. Free. It's free. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a lot of gospel music. I mean, contemporary gospel music, gospel rap. And it's just come out, enjoy. We're going to praise and have a good time in the park. Um, most of the churches here, well, pretty much all of the churches were invited out to come and participate. Uh, Abundant Life, Pastor there, uh, uh, Mount Zion, a few other churches. I, I really can't remember all the names. Was uh, going to participate with us, and we're going to just all be out having a grand day in music, just music, oh, I just there's gonna be some music, 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 music. Man. Yes, yes. So this event at uh, Cecil Holman Park, you mentioned, two until six on the twenty eighth. That's a week from uh, tomorrow, by yes, the way, sir. gentlemen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, folks are invited to bring their choirs, participate. Yes, sir. They can come out and just have a good time. With if us. you are, if you're a local musician, or if you're hearing this telecast, you can come out and perform. Just come with your amps, your guitars, your your bass, uh, guitars, your pianos, keyboards, and you can perform because it's just going to be a day with God. They so been to that. Be, it's going to be a day with God. And we're going to have a, a, a praise good time. All right. Now, One Mic Entertainment is presenting. Is that you guys? Yes, sir. One Mic yes, sir. Entertainment. One Tell mic. me a little bit about uh, your One Mic Entertainment, Elton. One Mic Entertainment, well, um, I'm the CEO of One Mic Entertainment. Uh, I established the company, me and my wife. Uh, hello, uh, wifey, Bertha <laughs> Randall, Minister Bertha Randall. I'm a deacon at my church, EBC, uh, Emmanuel Baptist Church in Austin, Texas. And um, my pastor is Eric B. Jones Sr. So mm -hmm. I have to, I have to give my spill out because that's my pastor. I love mm -hmm. my church family. That's my pastor also. Um, we, um, we established a company and we were doing secular music at, at the time. And as you grow up, in Christ, you grow up in your music. If, you don't, if he don't take the gift from you, so sure. we grew up. I I went from doing gangster rap mm -hmm. to doing clean rap mm -hmm. to doing uh, gospel rap. Mm -hmm. You know, for the Christians and for anybody that don't know God. Mm -hmm. So you know, we speak their language. You speak the the youngsters' language. Right now, they they call them the lost generation right. we, we don't look at it as that because if you're still alive you still reach it amen right. amen that's right. like you and, said. And, and that's that's the thing that god has placed on our hearts because you know um even when jesus walked on this earth uh he didn't go to the churches he went to the least of the he least to he went to the streets he amen. walked he did everything and he didn't charge a penny. Mm -hmm. right. so why should we charge to give God's word when he loved us enough right. to sacrifice himself for us. That's right. So we make the sacrifice to do what we have to do that so that people can learn his word, but at the same time not be, shall I say, uh, pushed away through just hard preaching or hard ministry. We, we grab them like in a, in a way that they really don't understand it, but they be like, whoa, mm -hmm. that's a gospel song? Same ministry, just a different method. A different method. I love your, uh, I love your message. You just, yeah, absolutely got to reach out to those that think they're like, that's who the ones that we that's need to reach to. Absolutely. Yes, 
pull them in and yes, sir. show them the, the, what, what God can do. And yes, sir. It's never too late. The Great Absolutely. Commission, make, make yes, disciples. Okay, well, amen to that. So, uh, I know you brought a CD. Do y'all do anything live? I don't guess you could do a little um, quick something for us. Uh, well, we don't, I don't okay. have any, well, if you could pull up the more rough spots in the road. Mine so heavy, it's about to explode. Nowhere to turn, feel all is lost. I call on the boss, who break the perfect cost. Lord, I've been struggling with this thing called life. Don't want to show weakness to my kids or my wife. Job tugging at me, so it's church. I write the perfect verse, no time to rehearse. You said in your word, you wouldn't leave or forsake me. But I've been listening and haven't heard you lately. Throw in the towel, up against the ropes. Eyes swole shut, unable to cope. Lord, help, come on. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. No.